Uh, today we are just going to look at some problems involving polynomials and binomials and using the FOIL method. And what you want to do with this polynomial right here is you want to break it down into two binomials. And this format right here below it. And what you want to do are your first numbers. You want to be able to multiply together to give you this term. And the second numbers you want to be able to multiply together to give you this term. So now what we do are you take your a term and you find what multiples can go into it and you can write it on the side if you'd like. So we could say 3x and x. And in this case that those are the only options for what can be multiplied together. So we will go ahead and place 3x here and 1x here. And now for this c term, we want to find what the multiples are of it. So we have 8 and 1, but we also have 2 and 4. And what you want to do is you want to be able to take the addition or subtraction, like the sum of these two multiplications and also these two multiplications together to give you this 10. That's, that is what we're working to right now. So this is kind of where you have to guess and check. Um, so we can start with our 2 and our 4. So we want to see should the 2 go here or here. From looking at this 10x, um, you can already start to see that you want to multi you want to be able to multiply that 4 by this 3 to give you a number close to 10. Because if you multiply 3 times this 2 over here in a moment, you're only going to get 6. And that's not getting very close to that 10. So that's just part of the guess and check. So we will go ahead and try it. We'll place our 2 right here. and our 4 right here. But now you have to decide, do you want an addition or a subtraction symbol in between each of the binomials? Up here in the polynomial, you see that this is a negative number, which means that in one of these cases down here, one is going to need to be a positive, and one is going to be a negative. Because if both were positive, the answer would be positive. And if both were negative, the answer would be negative. So we'll go back to kind of guessing and checking. We can first plug in a negative here and a positive here. And whenever you use the FOIL method, that stands for first, outer, inner, and then last. And here, we'll go back down here and multiply these out. And I like to draw arrows just to follow your work. So we'll say 3x three ti three times 1x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 4 is a minus 12x. And that was our firsts and then our outers. And now for our inners, we have 2 times 1x. And for our lasts, we have 2 times negative 4. And whenever you combine like terms, we get this. But that is not the exact same as our original polynomial. So we know that we need to go back and change something. So let's try to switch around our positive and our minus signs. Okay, so now let's try a two or a minus sign over here on the two and then a plus sign on the four. So whenever we go back and do our FOIL method again, we'll do our firsts which would be 3x squared. We'll do our outers. So 3 times 4 would be plus 12x. Then we'll do our inners. So minus 2 times 1x is a minus 2x. And now we'll do our lasts. Negative 2 times 4 would be negative 8. So then, whenever we combine our like terms,
we find that this answer is the same as our polynomial that we started with. So part of the process is a guess and check with our possible multiples over here. But the nice part of this is that you can always go back and check your answer to make sure if it's correct or not by applying the FOIL method to these binomials right here. And if it doesn't come out to be the right answer, you know you need to go back and alter it a little bit. But that's the best way, the best method to do it. And the, the best way to get better at it is simply just to practice problems and to um, repeat it over and over.